Threat number one, knight d6. Threat number two, rook takes here. So many threats. Pedro Martinez, I believe you have to resign. And he did. He did. And now I have four wins in a row. It's one more win to get that sweet five. Uh, bishop a6. This is not my specialty. Snaiman with the 200 bits. Thank you. Um, yeah, so the thing about this opening is, I don't really know it. Let's take this one, cast it. And let's do this one. Hopefully this is something he has not studied. The dragon may get surprised by my aggression with the queenside pawns. Okay. So are we going to give him the center? I guess is the question. And the answer is no. Or maybe b5, bishop b7, a5, a6. Takes, takes. Nah. Take, take, b5, back, a6. Tempting. Tempting. I believe if I want to that I can get a passed pawn on b6. Of course I want a passed pawn on b6. Why am I thinking about this? Of course I want a passed pawn. He's going to play a6. I'm going to play b6. I have given him control over the center, which is why I was hesitant, because he has really good control over the center. But on the other hand, I do get a pawn on b6, two squares away from queenie might be a good deal for me. Okay, so he doesn't go a6, and this has given me the option of playing a6 myself. Uh, that's a big decision. I'm going to delay the decision to see if he buckles and, and plays a6 himself. Uh, and this e3 move is good for challenging the pawn and also for uh, kind of telling him that uh, this center he built is not going to last forever if he just exchanges off the central pawns. Chess coding also has 13 points in the tournament. Okay, he goes d3. I think that was a mistake. Now I'm going to take the opportunity to attack the bishop twice. First with my pawn, then with my knight, giving me uh, a threat of sorts of taking this bishop. I can choose not to take the bishop. But the thing is that I get to decide whether or not I would like to take this bishop. And he backs up. Uh, he backs up, but then I get this bishop isn't running away. Okay, it's kind of running away. Okay, it did run away. No, because I can threaten this pawn. And now I can get the rook. Next move. The question is, do I want to give my bishop for this rook? Um, probably not. He's going to play c4. That is guaranteed. And then what am I going to do?
This is actually a very complicated position. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take the rook. And then I'm actually going to go here. This is a bit of a strange move, but I am intending to play both the, these pawns up the board. So I need to get my king away from this diagonal. Bear from Ukraine with the $5 donation. Thank you. Uh, JFW says that he loves the commentary. Yeah, I guess that's the interesting part of having five-minute games, is that it really does uh, give more opportunities for deeper uh, commentary. Okay, should I go this first or this one? I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference. Let's try this one. This is actually, this is highlight material. I, this is such a complicated game. He has central pawns very f far advanced on the queen side, on the, in the center, and then I have kind of majorities on both the queen side and the king side. Knight g4, I don't understand this move at all. I have no idea what he's doing. I mean, of course, I can see that he, he's potentially checking here, but what is he planning if this one? I shouldn't have been thinking for so long. Maybe he's taking here and then knight h6? Eh, maybe. Well, he kind of has to, otherwise he just, he's being silly about the time he's using for his, uh, da, da. yeah, I can take more than he can take me. Okay, so if I get this bishop, I'm pretty happy. And also I'm threatening e5. I feel like I outplayed the guy. I feel like I played a really good game. But now we're both getting low on time, so I need to speed up. Can I not trap this guy? Um, I guess with the rook. Um, how to deal with this? Uh, I'm getting low on time. Let's try this one. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, that was a mistake. Somehow I thought that somehow I thought that he needed to protect this one, but he's just gonna give this one up. No, well if he gives it up, then I have G five. Um Uh, yeah, let's take this one, and then here, uh, probably maybe I shouldn't have gone for this because my king is a bit uh, uncomfy.
Oof, he could have gone uh, a different move there. Okay. I got the win on time. I think it was a deserved win, but it was such a complicated game. Very, very interesting. Um, very imbalanced, because, I mean, we both had our advantages and our, um, our problems. That was a, a really cool game.